Why do so many people hate mathematics? In the reserve study business, it's the numbers that tell the story. Percent funded is one of the three key results of a reserve study. It measures reserve fund strength and indicates how well the reserve fund has kept pace with ongoing deterioration. It's an important number and whether you like math or not, understanding its significance is important. Percent funded is simply the ratio of a property's actual reserve fund balance at a point in time to the calculated benchmark fully funded balance at that same point in time. It is typically calculated and reported at the beginning of each fiscal year. Percent funded will change each year as the reserve balance and fully funded balance fluctuate. The percent funded calculation is independent of funding plan objectives or calculation methods. Of course, the funding plan will influence whether percent funded increases, decreases, or stays the same in future years. Percent funded helps boards gauge the relative strength of their reserve fund. As a general rule, properties under 30% funded are considered to have a weak reserve fund because they have a high risk of special assessments and deferred maintenance. At the strong end of the funding spectrum, Special assessments and deferred maintenance are rare when reserves are 70% funded or above. The range between 30% and 70% funded represents a fair reserve fund status with moderate special assessment risk. Percent funded is part of National Reserve Study Standards. It is a reliable predictor of special assessment risk and special assessments are something to avoid. People outside the association, such as lenders, prospective homeowners, and the FHA care about percent funded, and you should too. I hope this insight about the concept of percent funded helps you to better understand and interpret the results of your reserve study. Follow the link to learn about the connection between percent funded and property values.